This is an example of how to use type tables with a model. Now this is the same model that we used for the uh, my first model uh, example. The only difference is before we had just a customer table, I've actually already added a customer type table. Now the customer type table is going to hold our types of customers such that we can associate them with a the customer. So first thing I'm going to say this table is is of type table and you will notice that first off there is a primary key it's an auto number integer and there's a name uh, field these are very important because it's going to use the name to generate enumeration and the values are going to be the, the customer type IDs the primary key this is used to keep in sync in the database the integers with the enumeration inside of generated code you don't ever have to type magic numbers anymore so uh, there's a couple of things we have to do First off, we need to set static data. Static data is data that, that will be generated into the installation project and it will be uh, inserted into the database uh, when we run the installation project. So let's come up here and let's say we have two types of customers. We have a good customer and we have a not so good customer. Uh, you can actually add spaces or other characters inside of here. The enumeration will be valid when it's generated into the C sharp code. So now we have two static datas of type customer type, and this is a type table. Now the other modification I made was that inside of the customer table, I added a customer type ID. Notice it is also an integer. So now what we want to do is relate the customer type table to the customer table. What we're going to do is go to the relationships. We click on customer type because it is the parent table. So it has, to, it has the primary key, the unique key from which we're going to associate to another one, which can or cannot be a unique key. It doesn't really matter. So on the relationships, pop the relationship dialog and say add. And we want to go from customer type to customer. We want the customer type ID to map to customer type ID. We add it. Okay. Okay, now there is a relationship here. If you'll notice, this is relationships one item on the customer type table. And on the customer table, there is no relationships because it's not the parent of a relationship. Now, this should verify almost. Customer type is writable. Okay, type tables are immutable, meaning you cannot add, update, or delete anything from a type table. These are strictly read-only types that you wish to have in a database, generally to be used for association inside of code, so you don't have to put, your, put magic numbers anywhere. So, we want that immutable. We'll say verify again, and it does verify. So now we are going to regenerate this. It's going to have just those two generators, just like before. And it works or at least it generated. Okay, let's compile the data access layer and compile the installation layer. Fantastic. Okay, I've created this test application so we can run a little bit of code. And I've actually already written a little bit of code. So this is the way that we would actually insert a customer to a customer the customer table in the database. Essentially we would create a brand new customer collection. Uh, there's nothing else to s specify there. And then we say new item and we just get a customer object returned to us. And then we set the various fields that have to be set. Um, from the my first model example, first name and last name are non-nullable. So we have to set those to something. Now, also in there, we should have a customer type now. And also notice that is an enumeration. So if we do this, we, IntelliSense will actually give us an enumeration for that. And you'll notice it says good and not so good. So essentially, good is number one in the database, not so good is number two in the database. But we never have to specify that. Now we could, for those people who like magic numbers, you could actually put customer not customer type ID equal one. But of course, the next guy who comes after you will have no idea what one is. And if you create your own enumeration, obviously you can get out of sync with the database. So if we do this, it's very easy for us to read. The next guy after you comes in and says, oh, customer type equals a good customer. And that's all there is to it. When this saves back to the database, it will be translated into the number and the, everything in the database will load and save just fine.